The primary goal of visual data exploration tools is to enable discovery of new insights. Documenting the path to a finding is important for reproducibility in presentation. At the moment, the analysis to presentation process only flows in one direction. Once something is discovered in exploration is captured, improved on in the authoring process, and then presented. Unfortunately, updates are tedious in this process, and the static results cannot tell the whole story as they do not convey contextual information about the exploration process. To close the gap between exploration and presentation, we present CLUE, a framework for reproducing, annotating, and presenting visualization-driven exploration based on automatically captured provenance graphs. In CLUE, exploration, authoring, and presentation are dedicated modes, and users can transition between them freely at any time. We call the result a VISTORY, as it is an interactive visual story that also contains analysis history. Now let's look at CLUE in action. To demonstrate the general applicability of CLUE, we used a technique inspired by Gapminder to explore public health and income data. We currently are in the exploration mode. The y-axis maps life expectancy in years while the x-axis shows income. The timeline at the bottom spans from the year 1800 to 2015. Continents are color-coded and the size of the marks in the chart indicate the size of the population for each country. On the right, we can see that some provenance is already being captured. Let's do a log transformation to the income data and we can immediately see a new node appears in the provenance graph. As we move the slider on the timeline from 1800 through to 2015, we can see a trend. People got wealthier and they also started living longer. To extract and annotate this key finding, we'll switch to authoring mode. Let's click on extract in the story editor to start pulling together our findings so far. When selecting the current state in the provenance graph, its corresponding point in the story editor is also highlighted. We'd like to annotate this key finding and so we add a text label to the chart. Now that we have captured this day, we will go back to exploring. We navigate to 1946, a pivotal year in European history just after the Second World War. We can see that Scandinavian countries at this time in Europe were faring better. When we switch back to the authoring mode, we can also extract this step from the provenance graph and annotate it. Selecting Sweden, we drag and drop into the story editor. Next, we select Norway and we drag and drop again into the story editor. Going back to Sweden, we now like to annotate this individual finding. To make it more obvious, we add an arrow. Our story is done. We can view it in the presentation mode. Here we can visit points in the story manually by clicking on each story point in the stepper interface or just sit back and enjoy automated playback. This history can easily be shared through a unique URL. In contrast to this video, however, it not only contains the story, but all the data that led to its creation. If you like, you can go to this link play the history and extend our analysis. Of course, Clue is not limited to such simple analysis scenarios. Here you can see a fast forward of a story we created that is based on a publication from Nature Methods. We won't bore you with the technical details now. If you're interested, you can play with this history and maybe find something new. We believe that the seamless integration of exploration and presentation based on rich provenance information has the potential to make the scientific process in the data-driven sciences more efficient, collaborative, and in the long run, more sustainable. Thank you for watching our video.